Just concluded the Zoom call with Jeff Saturday. Jeff Saturday and the Colts getting ready to play the Chargers on Monday Night Football. And so they're kind of knee-deep in preparation. They say that not making the playoffs or having no chance now to make the playoffs has no effect upon their preparation, which you would guess, because the chances of making the playoffs were really, really scant before last night's Jaguars win. Now they're non-existent. Saturday did say some interesting things. We learned a couple of things. Number one is that Matt Ryan is not going to be the backup for uh, Nick Foles on Monday night. It's going to be Sam Ellinger. And we learned about the dispatching of Afedi Adnigbo. Afedi did something. We don't know what, but we know what it wasn't. All right, hey everybody. Uh, obviously, I won't see you guys again before uh, Christmas. So Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to everybody. Hope you enjoy the time with your families. Uh, I, you know, we'll be cranking it up Monday. So enjoy the time you get. I know I'm, I'm looking forward to hanging with my family some. So hope you guys do the same. All right, we'll start with James Boyd. Jeff, have you decided who will start at running back for uh, against the Chargers, or is that like a game time type of thing? No, it'll be a game time. We're still working through. We got another day, so we have we haven't finalized what it's going to look like. I know we're going to rotate, James. So from our perspective, whoever runs out there first doesn't doesn't change much. We'll we'll have rotation back there. So, um, but we're, we'll continue to look at it, and and we'll make that. We probably won't make a decision really until uh, until we figure out what we're going to do on Monday. Joel Erickson. Uh, Jeff, uh, earlier this week, you guys released if if Ayadi or Denning Bow. What what went into that? It felt like he was a pretty consistent member of the rotation on defensive line. Yeah, I, I'm not going to get into you know what goes into that. It, it was just uh, for the you know we felt like for the best of our team that that was a decision we needed to make, and um, so we made it. But not getting into details of why. Kevin Bowen, Jeff, uh, who's going to be the backup to Nick on Monday? Uh, Sam's going to be the backup and um, yeah, we're going to go with, with uh, Nick and Sam and, uh, and then we'll play it, you know, week to week as we go forward, but that's where we're going to go this week. Mike Chapel. Jeff, the fact that, that Nick will have practiced uh, three times, I guess, with the ones, d d does it impact how you maybe approach things? I mean, he even said that he's looking forward to throwing with the ones. Or do you think he's a veteran enough that he's going to be able to just kind of operate as he should? Well, I mean, you know, like, yeah, chap. I mean, this guy, this is what he's done for the for the majority of his career, right? And so um, he knows how to handle it. He knows how to get in and um, you know make adjustments and and make himself feel at home with the guys. And to his point, he hasn't done much with the ones, but um, worked well this week. It feels like he brings a lot of a, a lot of energy uh, and leadership. And so from his perspective, he this is this is old hat for him, and ho hopefully he'll have uh, as much success with us as he has in other places and, and lead these guys to a win. Greg Doyle. Jeff, I'm going to assume that 5-9's release has something to do with what happened into the Vikings game, unless you say otherwise. And if that's the case, and that's what I believe, Grover Stewart was, he didn't say anything afterwards. 5-9 talked, and maybe that hurt him. But Grover was... I mean, he should have been flagged too. What do you think about what Grover did? And just no, why, no, why Greg, that that, that that no, that's not uh, that 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 play didn't have anything to do with it. Again, I'm not going to get into it why, but yeah, that 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 play in particular on the in the field had nothing to do with uh, with it. Did his talking afterwards? No, no, no. I honestly, I didn't even know he. I didn't know he even talked afterwards. Honestly, so no, not not none of that had anything to do with it. Kevin Bowen. Jeff, we didn't see Kenny out there this week. He's obviously missed the last couple of games. Is there a chance he doesn't play again this season? I hope not. I mean, he's working towards, and you know, he he's getting he's getting better each and every week. So, um, you know, we're we're hoping to get him back, and he's trending he's trending well. He's working hard trying to get back out there. So, uh, hopefully, he can he can get recovered and uh, get back out there and help us. I know we miss him. So, uh, but yeah, he's just working through his his uh, the progression of you know getting back on the field and and, and playing live reps. So, uh, hopefully, he gets there sooner rather than later. James Boyd. Jeff, I know you touched on uh, Sam being the backup. What went into the decision to, I guess, demote Matt Ryan to QB3 after being QB1 a week ago? 
Uh, we just, you know, we met as a staff and and uh, just had discussions of everything that was kind of going on. Just felt like it would be uh, in the best interest of everybody. Uh, again, uh, y'all you, you, heard what I said about Matt. I have a ton of respect for him. For him, he's a he's a pros pro. I just felt like this week in particular, probably the best way to go. Chap. Jeff, sort of not, not off the wall, but but with Bernhard Ryman, you guys sort of just threw him in the deep end and said, "Swim." How has he? How, how has he sort of gotten better? It, it, it appears he is playing better. No, chap, he is. He's playing much better, and uh, you know I give him a ton of credit. He he's uh, he, he did get thrown in the deep end of the pool and, and has has had to learn on the fly. But I think uh, I, I'm watching him each and every week progress in the run game and pass game, um, and so I, I've been really happy with his development. L listen, that's a that's a very difficult position to get thrown into and be asked to go out there on an island and and usually block their best pass rusher. But he's meeting the challenge. He's getting better every. He's not. Not perfect he understands that but he goes back he works really hard on his technique and the fundamentals and I think that's paid dividends for him I mean the guy he's battling um and and so I've, I've been very pleased with his progression uh since I got here all right and last one George Bremer Jeff was there any need today or any uh special message to the players with with the playoff elimination happening Thursday night no, no, we didn't talk about it. I mean, we, we, you know, we understood by what we've done the last three weeks or four weeks that, that, you know, it, we, we did not control our own destiny and you're having to hope for a lot of things. So no, no extra meetings needed. Um, you know, fa fairly obvious by the way that we played. All right. Thanks guys. Appreciate it. Merry Christmas, Jeff. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. See you. That's Jeff Saturday, three games to go. And whether you're rooting for the Colts to win or rooting for the Colts to lose to get a better draft pick, still Monday night's going to be really, really interesting. And why not? Look, the draft comes in about four months. We got plenty of time to worry about the draft. Let's worry about the Colts right now. Let's root for them to win because hell's bells. It's more fun to win than lose, right? And by the way, if this guy on the road, you should stay off the road. It's very dangerous. I went to the Kroger earlier, and I almost slid right at the at the intersection of Fall Creek and 79th. Almost slid right through the intersection. I was going about 10 miles an hour. That will cause a disruption in your digestive tract. That's exactly what happened to me. We'll talk to you inside Indiana Sports now, coming up in a couple hours. And then tonight, after IU wins against Kennesaw State, we're going to talk to you about that, too. Can't wait. And we'll do it from inside because it's really bone-chilling cold out here. Negative two with this wind. That ain't no joke.